Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're brand new. If you are brand new, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and join me each week for Dollar Tree hauls as well as other types of hauls, home organization videos, and home decor tours. Today I have a new Dollar Tree haul for you with a lot of holiday and Christmas decor as well as DIY items and some other things that are good gift giving ideas for this season. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you might have noticed that I got a haircut and I am loving it. So about this much hair off and yeah, it's just feeling really good and easy to style. So let's just get into the haul now. I want to start this video out by showing you guys a little hack. So I bought these were two for a dollar at Dollar Tree and this little thing just hooks right in to the end. You just push it in there and it that's how you hook it together. But instead of having it so long, because I would prefer it was up here, it's a really easy hack. I'm not gonna do it right now on screen, but you can cut this where you want it, anywhere to make it shorter so that you can have it, you know, if you want it here, here, and, and you can make this necklace however long you want. So I just wanted to show you guys that little, cute little hack. I did pick up another one of these uh, white Christmas trees from Dollar Tree so that I can double up on the other one. But I was also considering doing some uh, swag with this. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. But for now, I got another tree because I got to grab them, right? And uh, let me go ahead and get to these um, clings, these window clings, because I was looking all over for them and I finally found this really cute one. And it's just got super, super cute things on it. It's got the unicorn, the gingerbread guy, gingerbread how, I mean, gingerbread girl, gingerbread guy, a little rainbow. And I will use some of these for sure in DIYs and possibly some on my windows too. So there's that. And then I found this one with all the snow globes and it speaks for itself. It's super cute. It's got this dino um holiday and a sloth little wiener dog and a little christmas village and a flamingo so those are super cute and again make adorable window clings or you can put them on glass jars or you can put them in signs just so many things you can do with them i also picked up this one um, it is the gnome inspired one and it's got this adorable tree here you guys I just love that check that out and you guys may have already found some of these but I want to show them anyways and then this one that's very classic uh, holiday you know Christmas town type thing and it's super cute I think these would look really nice in the windows as well so that's those and moving on very quickly because I don't want to spend a lot of time. I picked up these stencils and these are going to be used for some DIYs. And you also get these on the back, in the back. And then I grab these ones, let it snow. These can be used for so many things. And even that t-shirt art that you do the bleach with, this would work really good to let it snow. Maybe grab a really nice blue shirt. I mean, you can do any color, but those are great for all things DIY. And I picked up one of these Merry and Bright little wood pieces, which I just saw someone doing one of the t-shirts like everybody was doing for Halloween with this one. But I thought this one would look extra cute in the middle of a uh, wreath. So I grabbed one and I think I have another one somewhere. And then these little tag signs, which I feel like I already, I did this in my last haul, but I grabbed another one and going to be using the other side of this to do a Christmas house. So you might want to put some type of little roof up there. You can use the craft sticks for that. And I'm really excited about doing DIYs, you guys. I can't wait to get started. I did do one just 
uh, this last week. I didn't have a lot of time, but I'll have to show you guys that one, a picture of it in this haul. And I grabbed two of these Santa wood pieces because I want to do a DIY with one and I was going to give the other one to Savannah because we do like to do those together. And then she can create her little special Santa she wants. Maybe she doesn't even want to do anything with it, but I have plans for mine. And you guys will see that very soon. Anyways, there's this one. It's got the tree, the little berries or balls and then it's got this little candy candy stick and then this one has uh, a snowman and it's got gold and then this little candy piece has gold on it as well so super cute so there's those and then this one with santa and there's lots of things you can do with these they don't have to go into any kind of floral arrangement, but they can. I found these little uh, Rudolph noses that light up and I'll turn one on for you, but they are a little difficult to turn off and I'm not really sure why, but super cute. And uh, that's the first time I've seen them. So I think you just have to hold it down until it goes, oh, see, hold it down until it goes off. But as soon as it stops blinking, that's when you really have to let it go. There we go. I grabbed some more of these. So grab some of those. They're very pretty. I found one can of this and I looked everywhere. It was the only can I've seen. It's the snow spray. So I'm, you know, interested in how this is going to work for me because I have never done this although I've seen a lot of people use it but I just have not done it so I found these little uh stickers of the ornaments and I thought these could be used in DIYs for um maybe someone who's DIYing with me but does not have my pink colors I picked up some of these gold bells. You get nine of them, and these are the extra large ones. So there's those. And I'm telling you guys, you gotta grab this stuff because it is getting slim pickings. I, I had to grab one of these because I think this is so great. And I believe I have one from last year maybe that I want to use for uh, a gift basket. I just think it's really cute and then they can save this piece and use it in their decor for the next Christmas or even the Christmas if they get it early enough they can use it then I did find some of these signs I didn't find the other ones I think there's another one that says Mary but I grabbed two of these ones and because I have a DIY that I want to do that I saw Chic on the Cheek do and so I'm going to I'm gonna do one of those. I found these snowballs finally, and I wish I would have bought more now, but too late. Um, these are snowball decor, but they can also be used for indoor snowball fights with the kids. So much fun, because they, they can't break anything. So yeah, if you see them, grab them, and I'm gonna try and pick up some more if I can. And then I found these Christmas card games. You. You guys, these are so cute. So I grabbed all of them. This is the Sloth Rummy. And then they have the Crazy Eights. And they have um, matching. I'll hold them all up at the end. And then they also had Go Fish. So... Anyhow, these are really cute for stocking stuffers for the kids and encourages them to play uh, actual games as opposed to sitting on the screen. And I went ahead and grabbed all four of those. And again, these are going to make fantastic stocking stuffers. I picked up these um, red 
buffalo check bows. These can be used on gifts as well or for DIYs, wreath, um, wall decor, anything across your mantle draped with some beautiful lights. So, you know, again, just pick things up because later you're going to say, oh, I wish I would have grabbed this because I could have used this for that or whatever. But just all things DIY work well. I um, found these gorgeous little nutcracker guys and I think there might have been one more, but I grabbed four of them because I do have a lot of nutcrackers and there were some that were broken. So make sure you check out to make sure that they are all intact because some of them were missing arms and missing their little swords so I got this little guy he's got the tall sword that's very cute and then this one in the blue and he's got this scepter I don't know what you call that thing I'm probably completely wrong and I'll probably have to put that up on the screen to make a correction but I, like, I love this guy. I like the colors, the blue and the red. Yeah, they're just really nice. And he's got this crown on, so he's like a king. And then there was this one in the red who has a smaller sword. He looks sort of like he might be Russian. But then I think maybe the Nutcracker is Russian. I, I should know this, being a dance teacher. But anyhow, there's that one. And then this one in the black and the red, and he's got a rifle of some sort. <laughs> and he's really cute too. So those are the four that I picked up. And as you can see behind me, I think you can see her. I picked up the Sugar Plum Fairy at Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off, so she was only $10, you guys. And these are all the ones that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Super cute and just going to go really nice with the whole Nutcracker collection. And then I found these little uh, tin pails with the handles. And this one, whoops, says holiday cheers, Hol holiday cheer, wait, that doesn't even make sense. Holiday cheer, Christmas. Oh, Christmas wishes and something, well, I don't know, season's greetings maybe. I can't read it. It's very light. And then this one says, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. So I picked that one up. And then there was this one that said, Joy to the World. They're all pretty. And then this one says, Peace and Joy. So that's the four that they have. And I grabbed all of them. Yeah, so those, put them over here. I also found the um, light up cups with the straw. These are for cold beverages and yeah, the snowman and the gnome and they had a couple of other different ones and I will let you see it lit up and it's very hard to turn off just like the other one. So, but fun, you know, so you have to press on it, hold it until it stops. And of course it's not going to. And these chair covers, which I'm not going to be using as a chair cover. Um, these would make really cute throw pillows or decor pillow, whatever you want to call that. So there's one of those. And then I picked up this one, uh, the blue one with the gingerbread. And I'm not sure how this one's going to fare. We'll see because if they are right on the edge, but it's kind of cute. And I mean, you could use these for chairs, but I personally have benches for my dining area. So yeah, it's sort of that farmhouse type, you know, table setting. This I grabbed for the studio. It's a snow scene and it's a wall decoration. And I believe it is 42 inches by 50. So it's like a long... You know, it look pretty in the studio because I have a lot of like this blue, like snow decor for the studio because I try to keep it sort of neutral. Let me go in really quickly to these homemade cards. 
I grabbed two of these gingerbread ones and I love that they have this, you know, two dimensional detail. These make great uh, DIY items and they also make great cards, of course. So either way, there's that one. This one with a snowman, really pretty. I mean, you just, these cards for a dollar, you guys. I mean, I just can't even, mm -mm. And this one says Santa Claus is coming to town. Super cute. It's got this belt detail on it. It, again, is like a two-dimensional. These are good for gift cards. They're good for money, cash, for people who like to get cash. And then I found this one with the manger scene in this beautiful, beautiful blue. And I'm going to be using that one as a DIY. I will try to share those with you, but I don't usually do my DIYs on camera. And then this one is the little stocking. I thought I picked up two of these, but I didn't. But this one's really pretty in the pink. And this would be really pretty in a little frame. And then these ones were just, you know, they're regular Christmas cards, but I just thought they were so cute. I'm going to use them for DIYing as well. And I just like the pink, of course. But this would be good for your granddaughter as well. And then this one is pink, too. <laughs> and this one. One of these will go to my sister. But I want to use one of them for um, a DIY. So just don't forget about the cards. And then I found all of these stickers. And I won't go through all of them, but... Um, I'll just kind of show you one page. Super cute. I bought two of these ones. I'll be using them for class, dance classes. Kids love their stickers and we give them every week with a coloring sheet. So I got two of these ones and it looks like they have 80 piece. So lots of cute stickers in here. Yep. So check out the stickers. Kids love stickers. I found this adorable little holiday wishes book and it, it just, you can give it to someone if you like. I just liked the sentiments and it, it's got all of these different quotes in here and for Christmas. So just could be sitting out somewhere like on, you know, with your Christmas decor with a different quote. You could take them out of here. You could put them inside of a little... Um, display, you know, or something. And as you can see, I did cut down my little necklace so you can see it's now the length I want. Now, for these items, um, I grabbed this desk calendar and it says make today amazing. So I, I do like having these around the house just to see the date, like immediately. Yes, you can look at your calendar, you can on your phone, you can ask Alexa, you can do whatever. Hopefully she didn't hear me just now. And so that was another pickup. One of these new pencil cases, I like this because it has this top part that opens here where you can put things. And then it also has the inside part. So I think this is kind of a clever storage option for crafting for me kids for school would be good too. Wait, one more dog thing. They have several of these and this is it says by the American Kennel Club, which is kind of cool. It's a pet IQ puzzle. So you put the treats in there and then your dog just has to figure out, you know, and move it with their paw. And I did see um, somebody did this. I think it was Jennifer Mellon that did it with her dog and it does work. So Keep your eye out for those. I bought the purple one. They had them in blue and I don't know what the other color was. I'm not sure. I am kind of a space nerd, but here's a Meteor Dig Kit. And it says that it has NASA images in here. So I'm excited to open this and check it out. They also had the solar system. So there's that. And they had the, I had a double, I said, of the solar system. And then this one is Make Your Own Planet. 
these are so great, you know, for your kids because they do need to do these hands-on type uh, learning activities. And this is just a great way to discover and learn about space. And there's another one in here. This one is the prism putty. Make your own prism putty. So that were, that was all the ones I could find. So there's the solar system, the planet, make your own planet, and the meteor dig kit. So, you know, Dollar Tree generally does things in four. So this is probably the full collection. Such a great find. I found these little, these um, fidget poppers. So these are really cool, you guys. Pink. Let me turn it around. Green. The yellow and the blue. And the purple and the white. And that was all of them. Again, fantastic for stocking stuffers. So look for those. These I was just beyond excited to find. And I did find all of them. So I grabbed all of them. And they are the Friends Lip Balms, you guys. So cute. And I grabbed a couple extras because, I mean, they're coffee flavors. This one in particular here is, this one is the coffee. And this one is black coffee. Oh, that was iced coffee, the last one. So cute. And then this one is the frappe or strawberry frappe. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, so. So cute though. And then this one is the vanilla latte. So you guys look for these for anybody who's a friends fanatic, which I am. I've watched um, every episode of, of, the, of every season and probably done that times 10. So, and still laugh. Like crazy but look for those this would go really cute into a gift basket that is um, friends inspired and my last two items you guys are books so I picked up this one so and I got this one for me 21 secrets of million dollar sellers because I really like marketing I like marketing my business um, and this I think is sales marketing same thing pretty much and then um, I might pass it on to my sister afterward because she's in sales. This is by Stephen J. Harville. I don't know who that is, but this one's uh, Win or Die Leadership Secrets from Game of Thrones. I thought that was really cool. And this is a hardcover. And I'm looking for, I don't see any, oh, retailed at $28.99, you guys for a dollar so that's the haul and I am so excited about all of this stuff and I'm excited about Christmas I'm excited about decorating I took all my fall stuff down yesterday and so now uh, today I'm going to start with my holiday or Christmas decorating and you guys thank you so much for joining me today I hope that you will join me again soon and until the next time I see you, always stay positive, always stay hopeful, and above all, please always be so kind to everyone because they really need it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.